not joking. No my guys, them them know me. Hey lovelies, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa and if you're new, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell. Very important so that whenever I post, you'll be the first to find out. Also, share this video to people that you think will benefit from it. Okay, guys. So today, we're talking about all things international students, things that are currently going on. I feel like things are really, really, really rough now. Things are so tough and it's even getting tougher. And at this point, I'm like what do we do what do we do what what is going on where do we even run to canada is oh my goodness like no, let's not even go to canada i was even thinking canada was better but trust me at this point the devil you know is so better it's better than the angel you don't know because people in canada they, are, they have their own they are dealing with they have their problems they are crying out loud and we are here in the uk crying about our problems what do we do at this point we need to develop our country our continent and go back <laughs> anyway guys today we're going to be talking about international student i want us to analyze two different subtopic right in this particular video now subtopic one we all know that international students are no longer allowed to bring their dependent it all started in january so if you're not doing a research program you cannot come to the uk with your dependent say for instance if your program is bsc or masters you cannot come to the uk with your family you, you just have to come alone which of course we've talked a lot about this topic i even did a street content where i asked international students what they think about this and they all you know bear their minds at the same time the uk has stopped dependent of international students from switching chain to the care visa route so and we all know that this is the same route that a lot of students have been leveraging on this is the route that has literally been saving lots of people before all these rules came into light you could literally you know pause your study you don't even need to finish your study if you get a care job you can literally just switch with your family immediately but now you have to finish your school okay even if you finish your school and get a job for instance you get a care company that is willing to sponsor you you will not be able to switch it to family now this is the subtopic a right you can already see what international students are going through now this post study visa route also know that in this month april the company that is willing to sponsor you must be able to pay you at least thirty eight thousand. guys i know i was discussing this with somebody and we're like how many companies would actually be willing to offer you that starting salary knowing you're just fresh like you're literally a fresh talent straight from uni how like how many years experience have you built to be able for you to be able to earn that amount of money except of course you're going into tech and most times when you're coming out from school you're literally like a very fresh talent and most times for you to be able to get a job that can pay that amount of money you must have built experience so i feel like it's, it's an indirect way of saying they blocked that scheme and trust me people are not foolish remind you when they bought this report they said nigeria and indians right were topping the list of people that were coming to the uk with their dependent institution whereby the dependents actually outweighed the main applicant like they always say with every action there are consequences and trust me this particular restriction is hitting the uk very very hard I want to say thank you to winbags.ru for sponsoring today's video. Winbags.ru is a luxury website based in China. They deal with all kinds of luxury items, ranging from bags, shoes, accessories, name it, face cap, like different kind of accessories, clothes, and they deal on different kinds of luxury bag like Chanel, YSL, so many of them, so many of them. They sent me this particular bag. You can see how sturdy the bag is. This is how strong it is. Let's quickly open it. So this is the inside. Guys, the bag is really strong and I love the color. The color is, is my thing. I, I really love this color so much. It's nice. This is Chanel Low Boy bag. And guys, you can check the link in my description box so that you can get yours. It's very much affordable and i love it it's really really beautiful and it's luxury it's, it just looks i can't even wait to start rocking it and there's a huge discount for you if you use my unique code melissa 520 for all others above 120 dollars now let me go straight to the website it's gonna be 
showing here let's read it together hundreds of university staff are at risk of being fired as educational institutions scramble to cut costs following a substantial drop in the number of foreign students enrolling on courses university ships have warned of a range of cuts from shutting down courses to shedding teaching staff as the institutions are pushed into deficit the times reported this academic year at least 15 universities in the uk have announced job cuts and additional cost saving measures in an effort to salvage their finances earlier in march more than 120 staff at sheffield along university were served with risks of redundancy letters which gave them until 18th of march to take voluntary redundancy or apply for a limited number of rules in february the university of kent proposed cutting 58 jobs along with nine courses in response to financial challenges it's clear what is going on right now universities are now serving letters to their staff letting them know that they stand the risk of redundancy redundancy is when you're no longer needed it's not like sack but because that your role is no longer there for you like at this point they are cutting out a lot of roles cutting out a lot of courses because they are not able to pay their staff they are not able to fall their university and mind you uk educational system is one of the best in the world take it or leave it because i know people do come to my comment section to argue anytime i say this that is it the same school that we are in is it the same uk this school that we are doing patch and join cut and join cut and join it is until you take that your certificate outside that you actually realize the value of it okay uk is no longer the first choice of most international students because of obvious reasons people do not want to come here to study and still have their family back in their home country personally i feel like it does it doesn't really make sense when it was announced i did not even think it was going to be possible as well like how how like hey they can't do this but well, here it is this is actually happening and it is telling on them trust me universities are they are literally crying out because there is no enough fund available to be able to pay staff to be able to keep the universities running and because of that they are now cutting down on courses they are laying off staff and trust me this is going to hit the job market like it's literally gonna be like a thunderstorm to the job market because it is very crazy right now in the job market you guys know my story i was actually made redundant i've said this a lot of times i was made redundant myself and 170 something others we were all made redundant and the, the, the few people that have been in touch with they all left hr career that's what actually happened to them because it is actually very difficult to get a job in hr hr is very is a very very competitive profession and most people like most of my colleagues that were made redundant most of them are now they are now carers working in stores because i've been in touch with some of them and they're like they, they can't wait forever because they need to pay their bills whilst they are looking for hr jobs they are working as store assistants care assistants some are working in construction companies some are working in warehouse some are working doing customer service you can imagine like this some people that have two years three years of experience but they are unable to get a job now imagine what is now happening knowing that universities are now even cutting down staff like reducing their number of staff these people that you're serving with redundancy letters to where do you want them to go at this point so you can see that every single thing is still falling down on the society because in return these people these job seekers if they are unable to get jobs they, they will rely on the government they will rely on taxpayers because that's exactly what's going to happen they will start seeking for benefit that people that are eligible to seek for benefits they will end up seeking for benefit job seekers allowance allowance here and there and at the end of the day the unemployment rate in the uk we keep rising and trust you no economy will be able to thrive on that when there are lots of unemployed people and you know the income of the uk is mainly generated from taxpayers now when taxpayers are unemployed what happens to the system now according to the higher education statistics agency overseas students comprise 24 percent of all students in higher education during the 2021 to 2022 academic year however earlier symptoms data indicates a 37 percent decrease in overseas recruits for the coming financial year 
not somewhere university said the calls were necessary because of a sudden reduction of the number of students arriving in the uk from nigeria hey nigeria quenu <laughs> nigeria quenu hey you see how important that we are now this is a typical of, of example of when how do they put that phrase see you guys my brain is failing me you know there's a phrase that says when something now becomes the chief cornerstone <laughs> The rejected stone. <laughs> you guys, what did they tell you about the rejected stone? <laughs> what do you know about the rejected stone? See how we are now. See how important we are now. The UK educational system, they need us because we are no longer coming here to study. This is what is happening to them. Now, let's continue. In fact, I need to read it again. Notable University said the courts were necessary because of a sudden reduction of the number of students arriving in the UK from Nigeria, <laughs> where the currency has collapsed against the pound. A data suggests that there could be there could be a 71% reduction in the number of students arriving from Nigeria. Even though now a naira value is beginning to increase, because last time I checked, one pound is about 1003 or 1004 now at the time that one pound was equivalent to 2000 era height was so crazy that period now john washford who is the executive secretary of the committee of university chess said i've been in higher education for 30 years and senior leaders are more worried than i've ever seen them he told the newspaper that bankruptcy is a realistic possibility for some universities which are being pushed to do really difficult things to stave off the prospect. Taking fewer British students is a last resort, but if you're making a loss on something, people have to consider it. Everything has got to be looked at because the situation is so serious, he said. Universities have to think hard about what they want to protect and make choices about divesting themselves of things that are not core to the institution. There will be less choice for students. Fundamentally, either you have to increase income or you reduce quality or volume. It's crystal clear here. University leaders, they are very much worried because this is just few months in. Mind you, this new rule came into effect barely January, like four months ago. And we have years to go. So who knows what's even going to happen within the following month and even the following year. Personally, I actually see them going back on their words. Personally, that's what I think. With all these things that are happening, at the end of the day, they might just have to revisit and, you know, find a better way and just see how we can benefit them. Because at the end of the day, it's how it benefits them. It's their pocket at the end of the day. They need your money. Now, another that angle that's the other sub topic i said i was going to talk about is home secretary is asking mac that's migration advisory committee to investigate the postgraduate route he's saying that it feels like international students they are undermining the integrity and quality of uk universities by using the postgraduate route to get cheap work visas i'm like sir <laughs> excuse me are you not seeing what is going on you're still asking them to investigate the postgraduate route which is like the only enticing thing right now about using the student route to migrate to investigate it because i feel like knowing fully well that they've raised the salary threshold to be able to get work visa why don't you just let it be because if you should take out these two years believe me you see this number that has significantly decreased is going to decrease literally to the barest minimum because it has always been like this for a very long time but a few years ago they decided to introduce the postgraduate visa because people were not coming to the uk to study and now that you've stopped international students from bringing their dependents and you're clearly seeing that people are not coming even the few ones that are coming they are literally holding on to this two years postgraduate visa and if you, if you take it away like number will so decrease so now he has asked mark to investigate this and Mark is expected to give a report of their findings by May, that's next month. So by next month, clearly, obviously, we'll be able to know what is going on. We are going to know their stance on the postgraduate world visa. But personally, I feel like it should not be taken away because if it's taken away, a lot more people will lose their jobs. Like a whole lot of courses will be scrapped up because, I mean, having lived here, I've seen that most people do not actually value education. Even the few ones that value education, they don't even like going to universities. Like literally, you can be anything you want to do by just doing one online course. In order to get into a career, you're, you're just literally like one or two courses away. 
like professional courses most people don't even go to university especially their home people so i just hope that they take all these things into account before making any decision name flow that it is currently impacting a lot of people right now lots of people are about to be jobless if not already made jobless and these people they are taxpayers so they are literally making jobless if you are unable to get a job they will still fall back on this system to be able to survive just hope they consider all these things before making any decision so guys of course share with me your thoughts about this in the comment section and thank you so much for watching i will see you all again bye guys